Hi Asian Feed, this is Karen Fukuhara and I'm going to be answering a few questions so you can get to know me better. My go-to comfort food is sushi, which is which doesn't sound comforting, but I I love it so much. Any chance I get to eat raw fish, I I'm there. Call me. I love uh, listening to music and um, going to music festivals and traveling. I just came back from a Mexico trip. Uh, we did press there for the boys and I loved going to the Frida Kahlo Museum. My favorite part was uh, listening to all the hot tea um, between Isamu Noguchi, Diego and Frida. So yeah, traveling is a big hobby of mine. My three favorite films of all time. It's hard to pick just three, and I think these things cycle in and out, um, but my all-time favorite is Inception. I love The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan, and then an animated feature that I love is Nausicaa uh, by Ghibli. My mom has been the biggest inspiration to me. I think she has really supported me throughout my career and she's a piano teacher, uh, not such a you know traditional path uh, being Asian. And so that was, uh, that was inspirational. If I were to say over the past few years, I think Michelle Yeoh is killing it. I, I, I just loved her speech at the Oscars and she's really representing all of us and uh, yeah, she's, she's fantastic. So I would love to work with her one day. <laughs> My favorite holiday is hands down Christmas. I think that Christmas really, um, without Christmas in winter, winter would be miserable. Let's Let's agree on that. Um, I love the, uh, you know, coming together of friends and uh, the, you know, the white elephants that happen and everyone's in a good mood in the holiday spirit. And uh, I get to see my family. Uh, we get to have Christmas cake and good food. And I don't know. I, I just think the Santa Claus tradition is also very sweet. Um, yeah, I, I, I think everything around the holiday cheer of Christmas uh, is, uh, is a yes in my book. <laughs> the best piece of advice that I've ever received is actually from, um, I, I, during Suicide Squad, uh, Margot and Kara and I were um, having a night in in the hotel room and it was very chill it was before uh, we were doing press and i asked them this exact question what advice would you give me as someone that is starting off um in this industry and they said they both said don't be bitter don't get bitter don't be bitter because this is a really tough industry and you have to have tough skin and there are going to be experiences that you're not going to like, but you just have to, uh, you kind of have to get through it and you still have to carry this sort of like innocence about you and uh, hope, uh, especially as an actor, because a bitter actor is, uh, is no fun and it doesn't really do anything for you. It doesn't serve you. If I wasn't in my current career, I don't know. I don't really want to think about it. I love, I love my job, but uh, I guess, I guess I would do something like uh, being a photographer would be really fun. Learning that, I've always wanted to do that. I would love to open up a restaurant or a bar. Um, yeah, th uh, things that have to do with food or photography or uh, being on set, maybe. Maybe, maybe a makeup artist or a hairdresser, although I don't, I'm not very good at either of those things, so <laughs> uh, I get help from them. <laughs> but yeah, it would be fun to learn a craft, like, or things, like, specific things that, um, yeah, like, that are very hands-on.
Okay, so this is kind of a, a bit of a cop-out answer, but um, I was recently in, I, I recently dubbed uh, a Miyazaki film called The Boy and the Heron, and I uh, absolutely loved that experience. I got to go to the Golden Globes with uh, Joe Hifishi, who is the composer of many of those films, and I grew up watching them. I, I am a Ghibli stan. But I never got to meet Mr. Miyazaki himself, and so I would love to meet him, and uh, I would love to ask him a bunch of questions about the boy and the heron, um, but also uh, tell him how much of an inspiration his movies have been um, for me and my childhood. Ooh, let's look at my <laughs> list. I really like UFO, UFO by Olivia Dean. I went to a concert uh, for Olivia here in LA at the Echoplex last year, this year, this year, and UFO was uh, was my was my positive breakup song that I had on repeat. And then there was a song by Bon Iver that was on my uh, breakup. <laughs> playlist and I love all his music so um, yeah Bon Iver and Olivia Dean have been on my repeated Spotify playlist I am very very excited this year uh, for season 4 coming out on June 13th make sure to check out The Boys season 4 only on Prime Video June 13th <laughs>